Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how to build a really cool little bench using only 2x3 boards with no visible fasteners so that it has a really clean floating look. So anyway, check this out. This is a really cool project. Okay, so here are the 2x3s that I'm going to use to build my bench. Now, when I built this work table a while back, I built the frame out of 2x3s and I had a couple left over. So I had these two left over. So the other day I went to the store and I grabbed four more 2x3s. Now they were really inexpensive. They were only, I think, $1.48 each and super common. So I thought it'd be, you know, an interesting material to work with for a project like this. Now they are pretty rough, as you can see. They, uh, they're definitely pretty splintery right now. So I'm gonna have to sand them really well before I start working with them. But uh, first thing I want to do is go ahead and chop them up. So they are 8 feet long, which is 96 inches. So these first four boards are what's going to make up the top. And I want them to be 32 inches long. So I'll go ahead and chop them up to 32 inches. And then I need to sand them to kind of smooth them out. So I'll do all that next. So here's all the boards chopped up and I realized I made a mistake while ago when I said that I needed to chop four of the eight footers. I actually only needed to chop three of them. To make the base here, I'm only gonna use eight 32 inches. So these are extras, but thankfully I can still use them later. So they're not totally wasted, but I really only needed to chop three of them down. So now that I got them chopped down, they are rough, so I need to sand them. So like I said, I'm using my 60 grit to really knock all the really rough areas off and to round over the edges just a little bit and then I will swap it out for a 120 grit to smooth them out then I'll show you how to start joining them alrighty so now my boards are sanded really nice and smooth so I need to decide which face I want to show on the upper side of the bench. So I'm either choosing this side or this side. So I've decided to go with this. So I've actually done that to all eight of my boards here. Okay, now you can also see I have, I have a piece of plywood here. That's just so I can line them all up for a nice fresh starting point. Okay, when I take that away, I'll show you that I used a little piece of tape here on my tabletop just to mark where the edges of all these are gonna be. Now a solid block with all them lined up is pretty cool, but I decided to go a little more interesting so what I'm going to do is my two outer boards are going to stay in this position, lined up right to the inside edge of this tape. But the inner six, I'm going to shift to have kind of a cool little pattern. I think it'll be more a little uh, interesting to look at. So anyway, let me go ahead and figure out what my pattern's going to be, and then I will show you how to join them, which, by the way, is really simple. So here's the shifted pattern I decided to go with. I kept it pretty simple. It's all within about two inches or so, and I think it looks pretty good. Kind of interesting to look at. All right, now before I actually start putting it together by drilling and screwing and gluing and all that, I decided to take my pencil and just make some really light marks so it's easier to line them up later back to this pattern. Now one more thing I did for added security is I added these little pieces of tape on the ends of this side and I numbered them one through eight going this direction. So now I can actually start putting it together and I'm gonna start with number eight and number seven. All right, so here's how I'm gonna join all my boards together. I'm starting with number eight and number seven. Number eight has that line on there to help line it up. So I'm gonna take my wood glue and from the inside of that line all the way to the end of number eight, add a nice little streak of glue. Then I'm gonna squeeze number seven against there, making sure it's lined up to that line. I'm gonna take two of my clamps, clamp it together nice and tight so it don't shift around on me. Then take my drill, I'm gonna put in three pilot holes for some screws so that way the screws don't split it when I, when I drive them in. These are two and a half inches long so they don't poke out. And what they'll do is just help hold the boards together while the glue's drying and they'll add a little bit of extra strength. That's a really simple process. I'll do the same thing as I continually add boards. The only difference is that I will offset my pilot holes and my screws so that they don't interfere with each other as I drive them in. Same way, it's like a really primitive version of a butcher block. And it's you know, pretty simple. So let me just show you how it works. All right, so check that out. I got them all glued and screwed together. Uh, one thing I should mention is that on this last board, my screws, I kind of sunk them in from the edge. Like all the others, I kind of centered the middle screw 
and then the other screws were about as you know close to the edge as I could get but on this last one here I decided to bring them in because my leg piece is going to be a little shorter than this board right here so I didn't want you know screw holes showing there so anyway now I'll show you how to work on the legs okay so now for the legs what I'm going to do is use up those pieces that I accidentally cut earlier when I was making the top and they actually will work out pretty well. I have four of them left and I need two of them to make the legs for each side. So on one of the boards, what I'm going to do, since it's 32 inches long, I'm going to cut it exactly in half so I can max out as much as I can get out of it. Okay, once I get my two 16 inch pieces, then I'm going to give them a 10 degree cut on each edge. So it goes from straight to just angled like that. And I'll do that to both legs. All right. Now for the longer piece, the one that actually attaches to the upper part of the bench we sit on, I'm going to do something similar. This time I'll chop it at 22 inches, okay, so it'll be a lot longer. And I'll also put ten, uh, 10 degree cuts on it, except this time it'll go straight and then they're going to face each other. Okay, so I'll do that real quick outside, bring it back in, show you how to put it together. Now that my leg pieces are cut, I brought them in, put them together, and it's going to look something like that. So nice and straight up here, and then it angles out. Now to join them, I'm going to use some uh, glue and some screws, but I'm going to use pocket holes. So I'm going to use my little Craig jig here on this piece right here to drill in two pocket holes on both sides. They kind of look like this, okay? And then I can drop in some glue, screw them together, let it dry, and it'll be a really nice tight joint. So I'll do that next, and then I'll show you how I prep the legs before I attach them to the top. Just like that, two pocket holes. So I'll put two more on the other side and put it together. All right, and there's what one of the legs looks like all finished up. And uh, they are still pretty rough, so I need to sand them both, smooth them out before I join them to the uh, tabletop. So what I'm going to do is first take my sander and get rid of the printing that's on the legs, and then just get rid of the really bad splintery parts first. But I'm still going to leave them a bit rough, so they still have a little texture. So that way I can spray them silver, and then continue sanding till they're nice and smooth, and I'll get a really cool distressed look. Once that's done, then I'll show you how I finish off the bench top, and then how I join everything together. And check out those legs, look really cool with the uh, distressed silver paint. Very, very, very similar to the work table I built not too long ago. So I want to do the same look with the um, bench top here. I don't want just a straight up raw wood, so before I start joining the legs to it, I want to go ahead and stain it. So I'm using some of this light walnut stain. As you can see, it just barely darkens up, just a little bit, so it'd be similar to my tabletop here. So I'll go ahead and stain it real quick, and then I'll show you how to join it. Alright, so it's time to attach the legs to the bench top here. So first things first, I should show you that I have a little strip on the back here that is still raw wood. I just laid on some tape before I painted. That way I can have a nice raw wood section up against another raw wood section. So you see I kind of did the same thing when I stained the wood. I left a section raw. That way the glue has extra holding strength between the two. And it'll all be hidden so you won't even see it. Alright, so then to actually attach everything, I decided to go with a hidden system. So I'm going to use some little dowel pins. I used two inch dowel pins. There are three eighths. And uh, it comes with a little kit that has a drill bit, 3 8 drill bit with a collar that you can set to whatever. So you set it at half the depth, so I have it at one inch. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in four pilot holes for the uh, dowels. Make sure to go in as straight as I can. If they go in angle, it will screw up. It's really easy to mess this up, so go in as straight as you can. All right, once those, I'm going to drill in four. Then on the outer two edges, I have these little, I think they're aluminum pins. 
they drop into the hole and then they have those little points on them. What happens is you drop them in and then you lay it up against the piece that you need to drill the second holes in, which would be the bench top, and it just leaves little poked holes. Then you can use those to line up the little point on your drill bit and carefully drill those in straight as well. Then you should be able to drop in the dowel pins and should slide in real well. And then you can just do the same thing with the inner two. And just be careful, everything's straight, but it should line up really nicely. So let me just show you how it works and uh, how it looks when it's all finished. Okay, now that all my dowel holes are drilled, it's time to glue everything together. So I'm going to drop some glue into each of the holes and a nice squiggle along that little raw wood section I left. I'll do the same thing in the holes where the dowels meet the legs. And then I need to clamp it together. Now I don't have big pipe clamps, but I do have some uh, ratchet straps out in my car. So I'll probably just use that just to hold it nice and tight until it dries. Once it's dry, I'll have to put on a little bit of a finish and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like all done. Alright, and here it is all finished. Turned out really cool. Got my little signature distressed silver legs, and then the really lightly stained 2x3 top, and it just all looks like it's floating together. There's no fasteners to be seen. Pretty cool little look. Also like the slightly angled legs at 10 degrees, which was easy to do, but it just gives it a little more custom look. And uh, turned out pretty awesome. Now you may notice that I, just, I used spray clear a while ago, and I was kind of cheating. I was trying to get it done fast. It's uh, snowing out there now so I'll probably put a better finish on it later but I think that'll take care of it for now and you keep the silver from coming off on your legs or whatever when you sit on it. Now the reason I put shoes there is because I intend to use this where we uh, throw our shoes when we come in the house. It'd be a place to uh, you know sit down, put on your shoes, take them off, we can kind of store them underneath out of the way and uh, it's pretty good for that. Now it's only 16 inches tall, most benches are usually 18 inches tall but this one was actually a really good height for when you sit down to bend over to tie your shoes. It's not too tall. Your legs are like perfectly straight. And then they're only uh, 32 inches long, but of course it could be as long or short as you want. The general idea of how I built the table is kind of the purpose of this video. It could be turned into a table or whatever you want, but I just went for a little bench here. But it's just an idea I've had in my head for a while. I wanted to see what the shifted top would look like and then have the legs floating on the outside. I think it turned out pretty cool, so hope you like it.